What's good? It's Jamel Hill and Michael Smith from His and Hers. Jay, I think I figured out how your man Jim Harbaugh is going to bring about culture change at Michigan. Well, as a Michigan State alum, I'm pretty cool with the Wolverines' culture of losing. Michigan was 2-12 and against the Buckeyes and Spartans under its last two coaches. Yeah, and Michigan even saw the end of its streak of leading the nation in average attendance for 16 straight seasons. So it's time for Jim Harbaugh to bring the swag back to Ann Arbor. Can I still say swag in 2015? Uh, no, you can't, but I understand why you would, considering the guy only wears $8 pleated khakis. Maybe so, but he spent the offseason sliding into Nicki Minaj's mentions and giving Twitter shout-outs to your boy Big Sean. Harbaugh even got Lil Wayne to wear a Michigan jersey. For a dude in his 50s, I'd say he's got some swag. Oh, I said it again. <laughs> Look, he's still the guy who put Gatorade in his cereal. And who goes to Paris and hits up McDonald's? Now you're blaming him for wanting a Royale with cheese? <laughs> no, but I question his judgment. I mean, the guy wants Judge Judy on the Supreme Court. Objection. You know what? You are the perfect storm of bias as a Spartans and 49ers fan. Uh, Jim Harbaugh is kind of weird. What's the point? All the media coverage can't hurt in raising the program's profile. Plus, we know Harbaugh is a persistent recruiter. He called his future wife nine times after their first date. So let me get this straight. Jim Harbaugh's bad dating etiquette is somehow going to get Michigan into a bowl game. No, because when he's not grabbing attention, he's working his players. Harbaugh expanded practice to four hours and closed it off from you people in the media. Is it to prevent us from seeing how bad they'll be? Uh, See how quickly you forget that he took your 49ers from six wins to 13 in his first season. Keep your shirt on. He went 4-8 and eight in his first season at Stanford. Oh, and our football power index gives him just a 2.5% chance of winning the Big Ten. But you see, first comes the attitude change, and the wins won't be far behind. That's why he's attacking this Michigan job with enthusiasm unknown to mankind. Well, let's see how enthusiastic he is when he loses to Michigan State. Who hurt you? Stop being bitter.